Today I'm in Natchez, Mississippi, visiting what has to be the most unique antebellum plantation home I've personally ever seen. It's the Longwood Plantation, the largest octagonal home ever built in the United States. It was designed by Philadelphia architect Samuel Sloan in 1859 and was supposed to be the crowning jewel of plantation owner Haller Nutt's cotton empire. It was designed to be over five stories tall with 32 rooms plus a full basement, of which only nine rooms in the basement were ever completed. It is topped by a distinctive Byzantine onion-shaped dome which rises above all the surrounding trees. Haller Nutt was a very wealthy plantation owner who owned, I believe, two plantations in Arkansas as well as, as at least one in Mississippi. No expense was spared when ordering materials and furnishings for his lavish new home. It was to be the crowning jewel of his entire empire. Construction started on Longwood just prior to the start of the Civil War. However, it stopped abruptly in 1861 when word of the war arrived in Natchez. Howler Nutt had all his workers put down their tools and just leave unfinished everything above the ground floor. The ground floor, which was originally going to be a basement, he had converted into nine rooms, uh, and that remains the only finished part of the 32-room mansion. Ironically, he was opposed to the war because he thought it would be bad for business. He expected the war to end quickly with a negotiated settlement. Longwood did survive, however, the war completely destroyed his business as well as his health. He died of pneumonia in 1864, long before he could see the end of the war or his home completed. On the second floor, detailed design plans show how each floor was going to be built. When you tour Longwood today, you see all of the lower basement living area, which is furnished with many of the family's original possessions. However, they request that you not film that part of the home. Everything above that remains just exactly as it was on that day in 1861 when the work stopped. Kerosene lamps and cans still sit where they were left, uh, as well as uh, temporary scaffolding and subfloors and flooring materials and bricks, which were all made on site at Longwood Plantation. The rotunda is by far the most impressive area you'll see on the tour. The view up from the open area on the second floor to the top of the dome would have been absolutely stunning. The center rotunda was designed with an innovative state-of-the-art light well system which would have funneled natural light down from the dome to form an eight-pointed star on a black marble floor below. This could have been seen from every level of the house. Looking down off the north facing second floor balcony is where the main entrance to the home was to be. You can just imagine how impressive it would have been to see a massive set of stairs leading down to a circular driveway. The remains of the original slave quarters, blacksmith shop, and the plantation overseer's cabin are still standing on site. This home is listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places as well as the National Historic Landmark.
All right, just completed the Longwood tour and it was very nice. Well worth the, uh, the trip. A very interesting house, very ornate, and when you stand at the bottom and look up to the top of it, very impressive. So if you're here going through Natchez, highly recommend you stop and go through this place. Uh, it's well worth the money. It's $25 for a ticket. Tour takes about 45 minutes or so, and I think they start on the half hour. So, hope you enjoyed.